Hey, hi, and welcome to today's 5 Minutes Friday. This is a special one because we reached 2,100 subscribers. And I wish to thank you all who subscribed for that. And because I wanted to finish the weathering of the shed and I want to share it with you. So we have this week an extra 5 Minutes Friday. So enjoy. Well, I throwed it on the table in the last video already. These are the things we're going to use and work with. These are the watercolor pencils. And also a little bit of water is what you need. It's pretty self-explaining. I just scratch along the patterns with uh, this dark sepia color. And then add a with a wet brush, ah, I must say a moist, not a wet brush. I reactivate the watercolor pencil and start manipulating the pigments. Pretty self-explanatory or something, however you call it. I don't know. To sharpen it, it's like using, yeah, back to elementary school, using uh, the sharpener your teacher had on his desk, his, her desk or something. Sometimes it helps that you wetten the surface before. There's uh, coming off a little bit more than uh, of the pigments stuck in the pencil and what this is that you dry your brush a little bit on a piece of yeah what is it called kitchen paper then we're gonna use a little bit of olive green to uh, add a dot of green on the boards down the side of the boards add a little bit of green different colors of green as you saw in the in the intro I threw on a couple of colors on this walkway we uh, we darken uh, one side of the boards and then start highlighting the other side of the boards with a light creamy color and uh, well, yeah. I don't know what to say about it. It's just, it, it, it's just so, you know, my famous word, easy. With a slightly moistened brush, just fade the pigments a little bit and soften it in total. And work your way around. Add a little bit of green, add a little bit of brown. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the edges of the, the buttons you can highlight a little bit with a creamy color. It's not a pure white. Soften it with a slightly moistened brush. And then, as last one, we're gonna add some animal paints because. If we use these, we don't have to seal the entire building. They, uh, these are solvent-based animal paints. I start with the light one, the light green. Also the same drill. Just paint a little bit. The video shows it all. Irregular patterns. Keep them as, as regular as possible. It was a bit of odor, oil, thinner in the cup. Same procedure as with the uh, with the water. Brush the brush must be damp, moist, and not 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 completely wet. And then start fading it. Yeah, grab the other color, a little bit of a darker one, blend it in on the lower parts of the building 
looks funny now because it's upside down, I know. Oh yeah, and that's that's it a little bit, uh, you know, it's, it's still the same drill. It's, Just fade it, go from up to down or down to, you know what, something like that. And that's it. So, if you like the video, please hit the like button. For those who like my content, please subscribe and see you in another video. Bye bye.